This is Great Taste of Manitoba. Welcome back, our wonderful home here at the Manitoba Liquor Mart, Grant Park Education Center. My name's Ace Burpee. The theme is Dressed to Impress this week. Susan Reese, Manitoba Pork. What we're about to do, we're embarking on a journey. It, <laughs> it's actually, we're making art almost. It's that good, and it's all kinds of awesome. It's a crown roast. Right. First off, um, what, what, how do you get a crown roast? Okay. Like, what is that? Crown roast of pork. Typically, you have to order it from an independent butcher shop or pre-order it from your regular grocery store. Um, it's not readily available. Usually just around the holiday season, you might see, uh, see them a little bit more often. But a spectacular roast nonetheless for any elegant occasion. Right, and then the so, meat that, they're eat, that we're going to eat, like this, these would be essentially like pork loin chops? Right, if so if you were to slice this, um, first of all, it comes as a rack of pork. Right. So if you slice the individual pieces, it's like a bone-in pork chop. Okay. What they've done is they've, they've made it into a crown just by, by shaping it and then tying it with string. So this okay. is how we get our crown shape. We have a tip that involves the tips, but first, how do I know, let's say I'm having a party, right. how do I know how many this serves? Well, an easy way is just to count the number of bones already on the roast. So this one has 12, so you'd probably be able to serve 10 to 12 people sure. with this roast. Some people like to have two servings, right? right. Um, so that's, that's an easy way to remember how many bones and to buy. And then the tips of these, here's two tips on the subject of tips. One is we cover them in foil, why? Right, we cover them with foils to prevent them from burning while the roast is, is cooking in the oven. And the other thing um, about the tips is that these have been Frenched. And what that means is that they've just removed some of the meat from the bone right. so that you can actually see the individual bones and it makes it like into a nice looking You know what, roast. the presentation is incredible on this and I think that matters Right. in food. So um, we've patted this dry okay. with, uh, with some paper towel because it is quite, quite juicy. We're going to season it with uh, just salt and pepper. You can just sprinkle it throughout and around the sides. And then after that, all we have to do is, is stuff it. Now, stuff it. Now this is a journey. This is a journey. I don't know where journey. you came up with this, but this is all kind well, of Well, just great. let me mention one thing. Yeah. Some people are a little bit um, leery on stuffing uh, a crown roast, just as maybe they are stuffing a turkey. I, I know myself, I kind of prefer to cook the stuffing on the side. I see. But um, what you can do is you can put a foil ball inside the roast to prevent uh, the shape from changing. So if you don't want to use stuffing, then use a foil ball. But we're gonna stuff this with our savory apple stuffing. Okay, so here's, here's the list of ingredients that go into the stuffing. Again, we're putting it in a crown roast and we've got obviously bread uh, cubes, chopped onion, celery, apple uh, sauteed in butter. You betcha. Uh, salt and pepper we threw in there. Yep. Brown sugar, nutmeg and cinnamon. Tastes and a whole bunch of fresh herbs. That's incredible. Tastes like apple pie, it's I like, think. It's apple pie for like adults and it's great. I love it. The other great thing is that you've got enough stuffing left over so you can just bake that, that. in a greased casserole and use that as your side dish. Hey, so. never mind. When you, if we have uh, a roast, don't we also get like, because, and she's going to wrap it in bacon as well right away, mm -hmm. but wouldn't we get like some drippings or something we can make sauce or gravy? Right, so the great thing about adding the bacon is that it is gonna add a lot of flavor to our drippings and we just wrap it around and we'd secure it with some, some toothpicks. And you do that all the way around, maybe a double layer. Um, so our pan sauce, oops, just broke that toothpick. Our I'm pan sorry. sauce consists of basically the drippings from the roast and then we've added some water just to thin it out and added a little bit of red currant jelly. You can use apple jelly as well. And if you really want to kick it up a notch, throw in a shot of Crown Royal and you've got a fabulous- the Crown Royal to fabulous, go with your Crown Royal. Uh, that's a no-brainer, I'm in. Pan sauce. Is that it here? Yeah, that's it there. If you want to give it a try, yeah, by all I'm means. Yeah, I'm not opposed to eating everything in the world ever. Oh, yeah. Good? And then what do we do with that? Like, can well, we... you can serve that with your, with your uh, slices when you're, when you're ready to serve them. So I just want to talk about um, testing the internal temperature of the crown. That was my next crown. question, because here we've got the crown roast. It's uh, come out of the oven. Right. And I don't know where... I know I need to check the temperature. Where do I do that on this? Right, so the last thing you wanna do with a crown roast is overcook it because it's you know a little bit pricey than, than say tenderloin or, or other cuts of pork. So you wanna make sure that you're cooking to a hint of pink like we've talked about right. throughout the show. So the way that you do this is you take your meat thermometer and you're actually gonna put it through the stuffing 
deep down into the meaty part of the roast. And you'll be able to feel when, when you get into the meat that you've, that you've gotten into the meat. Do right? we want to, what if, what if I'm up against a rib? You don't want to, you would want to stay away from, uh, from uh, the ribs. You don't want to touch any of the bones. And that is your teachable moment. Right. Do not touch any of the bones with your meat thermometer. And do this several times throughout, like at different, in different yep. spaces, just to make sure that the temperature is even all the way around. That is all kinds of brilliant. Crown roast of pork with a savory apple stuffing. Incredible work, Susan Reese, Manitoba pork. So Sheila's been off and now she's going to uh, find us something to drink with these ridiculously great dressed to impress. I'm excited. Man I know, Manitoba <laughs> pork recipes. So come right back, it's gonna be good.